Internet, what would you say if your local police department stole over $50,000 from your car, including substantial donations for orphans? It's a hard knock life. Well, that really happened in Muscogee County, Oklahoma, thanks to civil asset forfeiture. That's when the government takes your property without charging or convicting you of a crime. Ugh, you're gonna depress me with facts now, aren't you? Yep. It all started when an officer pulled over AWA for a broken taillight. That's him. So what? Behind that smiling folk rock exterior, he's actually a criminal mastermind who got what was coming to him. No, he's actually the tour manager for a Christian rock band. But that's like the death metal of Oklahoma, right? It could pose a threat. Turns out his only prior run-in with the law ever was a 2001 traffic ticket. In that moment, you might say he was running with the devil. An officer searched Awa's car and found $53,000, but no weed, no cocaine, not even some underage drinking. Give the cops something to work with, Awa. You're giving rock stars a good name. The money included cash donations for a Thai orphanage and a Burmese school. So metal. Hmm? I'm sensing a PR opportunity for the police not to be dicks about this. Well, after interrogating AWA for six hours, the sheriff's department let him go, but kept the cash as supposed drug proceeds despite the lack of evidence. This just went from Christian rock to rap epic. Then the district attorney filed to keep the funds for good and issued an arrest warrant for AWA. For what? Not being badass enough? No, for allegedly acquiring proceeds for drug activity. Lesson learned. If you're driving through Oklahoma, you might as well have drugs on you because the cops will treat you like you do anyway. But asset forfeiture isn't a problem in one state or region. Police all over the country get to keep the cash, cards, even homes that they seize. And then they can do whatever they want with it, so they seize assets a lot. Wouldn't you? If an officer wants a blinged out Maserati, civil forfeiture works way better than GoFundMe. Well, the Institute for Justice estimates that the federal government has taken $29 billion worth of property in just 14 years. It's even harder to tell how much the states have taken. Uh, speaking of which, Michael, do you um, remember how I borrowed your hoverboard a few weeks ago? You mean how you drunkenly walked out of the studio yelling, Don't tell Michael I took his hoverboard! Yeah, I remember, and I want it back. So the police may have confiscated it under forfeiture laws. What? Not Herbert Hover. Yes, and they won't give it they, him uh, back ever. But, you know, he would have caught on fire eventually, so really I saved him. Are you crying? No, I just... You have no idea what a burden walking has become. I know. We all know. Well, at least AWOL got justice in all this. The Institute for Justice got involved in his case, and Muscogee County eventually returned his money. See? Things are looking up. Plus, Oklahoma just passed a law that will help people afford a lawyer to fight back when the government steals their stuff. And I take some comfort in that. I'm sorry, I lied. I accidentally sold your hoverboard on eBay. I knew it! How much did you get for it? I'm like, no money. Cool. Nothing. Yeah, I yeah. just wanted to sell it because every time I looked at the thing, it reminded me how stupid people look riding them. Except for me, who looked awesome riding it. No. Keep being weird, Internet. <laughs> Thanks for your concern about my friend and hoverboard Herbert. In lieu of flowers, please subscribe to We the Internet on YouTube. We post new videos every week. Do you think the police should be allowed to take your property without charging you or convicting you of a crime? Tell us in the comments below. It's what Herbert Hover would have wanted.